Hey everybody, I've got a question for me today to ask you. What Have you ever wondered, how do I make a magician? And to myself, that's where we're going to answer today, because I've got three top rules of ma magic. Number one rule is a good magician never reveals his secrets. He would never tell anybody that he bumped bare butts with his best friend Michael in fourth grade because he wanted to be like Ren and Stimpy. He wouldn't tell anyone that. The second rule of magic, I don't remember. The third one, you got to get a cool magician outfit. There you go, you got a cool wizard hat and a robe that says magician, which I made myself out of glitter paint and a magic wand, which is actually just a cigarette holder. But cigarettes aren't cool anymore, so you could probably tape like a vape pen to the end of that and then smoke would come out and you'd be like, poof, and everyone think you're Harry Potter and the prisoner of Alka-Seltzer. The most important part of sleight of hand is being able to strip out a card from the deck really fast. So say they're looking for the eight of hearts, you just pull it out and be like, oh, why does that keep happening? You also need to learn how to conceal cards. So say your card was the four of hearts and then I could just whip it out of my sleeve and you, well, okay, well, I forgot to wear long sleeves, but. Okay, I'm gonna magically make all four of these cards go in order. What's that over there? Look over there. Wow, you, oh, wow, well, I actually forgot, I forgot to order them while you weren't looking, but man, I turned off the camera and everything. I had all the time I needed. Say, so I'm gonna turn this three of clubs into a joker. Ready? And then you pass your hand over. Now the secret to coin magic is making the coins disappear. And all I have to do to do that is wait until the tax bill passes and then a lot of your money will be disappearing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I appreciate No, I really do appreciate it. Oh, what's this? This is a trophy for the best political joke of the century? Thank you. Here's one of my favorite card tricks. You ask the audience member to pick a card, and let's say they pick the five of hearts, that's fine. They put that there. Then in response to that, you can actually play a yellow monster card. And since they're not the same color, you can actually play an ammo card on top of that. But since five is higher than the four bullets shown in here, they can actually counter it with the spooky mask card. That will deflect your attack and send... What is this video about again? Look at my pocket watch and watch as it goes slowly back and forth. And I want you to relax and focus on the movement of the pocket watch. Focus very deeply, clear your mind, and then, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I just got distracted by this gif of a cat wiggling its butt. That's really mesmerizing. Anyway, what were we doing? Something about a, a top watch. Okay, here's another trick that's gonna amaze your friends. I'm gonna flip through these cards super fast and you try to remember one that sticks out to you, okay? Just flipping. Okay, did any of them stick out to you? Was it this Garfield card from a completely separate game? I knew it, see I knew it was. I knew you were thinking something weird. Every magician worth his salt knows magic involving cups and balls. So I want you to keep an eye on the cup that has the ball under it. Now it's gonna be really hard to keep track of it because I'm gonna be moving it really fast, but the, the trick depends on you keeping your eye on the ball, all right? Did you lose sight of it? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so which cup do you think it's under? Ah, you think it's under this one, don't you? But it isn't. That's actually not the one where the ball is under. It's actually under this Okay, I'm going to show you a really simple card trick. I would spread them out and I'd say, okay, pick a card and you pick a card and then say it's like the five of spades or something like that. And I'm like, okay, now I'm going to shuffle these up and I'm going to magically bring your five of spades to the top of the deck instantly. Ready? Oh, sh see, I use real magic. You're not, uh, you're not supposed to do that. That's cheating. We're going to put a pen through this Garfield card and then we're going to magically restore it. Are you ready? Here we go. And that's it for Magic, the Gathering of the Juggalos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to tell your friends that I'm not normally like that, and please start inviting me to parties again. Remember, if you've got an ace up your sleeve, I've got to bug up my skirt. <laughs> now, one important thing to remember is if a card trick is falling apart and it's just not working, you can always play a bomb card and reset everything.